Mr. Vice-Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Tabu Sissel Makhoba with a request that you confer on him the degree Doctor of Theology Honoris Causa. The decision by Council and Senate to award him this degree has been taken based on the following considerations. As Archbishop of Cape Town, Dr. Tabu Sissel Makhoba has consistently served as a moral compass to society, espousing the values of human dignity, mutual respect, justice, and enduring peace, also the peace of creation. Ordained to the priesthood in 1990, the son of Limpopo was elected as Archbishop of Cape Town and Metropolitan of the Anglican Church of Southern Africa in 2007. At 47 years of age, he became the youngest ever to occupy this office. His election catapulted him into the world stage. On platforms such as the annual World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, he has distinguished himself as a thought leader by taking a clear moral and ethical stance on modern day complexities facing the world. These include restoring faith in the economy, fostering political stability, the future of democracy, the sustainability of communities, and rethinking values in a postmodern world. His resolve to use his vocation for the betterment of society is also evident from his study on spirituality in the South African mining sector, which earned him a PhD from the University of Cape Town in 2009. An outstanding feature of Mahoba's archiepiscopacy is his deep desire for the entire South African population to have equal access to quality education from early childhood learning through to tertiary education. This commitment has seen him play a key role as the proverbial cool head in the recent upheaval at South African tertiary institutions. He ensured that the Senate of the Anglican Church of Southern Africa debated the crisis in tertiary education and issued a statement of support for the ongoing drive towards a more wholesome education dispensation for the current generation. In addition, in 2016, Archbishop Makhoba convened the chaplains and student leaders of Western Cape Universities to offer students the opportunity to approach the church about their demands and concerns and to ascertain from students themselves how the church may support them in their call for better education. Archbishop Tabu Sissel Makhoba staan volkome in diens van die samenleving. Onder meer as beskermeer van een aantal organisaties sonder winsoogmerk, een leermeester oor ethische leiderskap en voogdijskap vir MBA studenten aan die Universiteit van Kaapstad en een voormalige commissaris van die persvrijheidscommissie. Onder sy vele eerbewijse is die prestigereike kruis van sin Augustinus, wat hy in 2008 vir uitsonderlijke dienst aan die Anglikaanse gemeenskap van die aartsbiskop van Kantelberg in Engeland ontvang het. Dr. Makhoba ondersteun die formele verhouding tussen die Anglikaanse bisdom van Valsbaai en die Universiteit Stellenbosse Fakulteit Theologie sonder voorbehoud. En hy is jarenlang reeds by verskye Universiteit Stellenbosse initiatiewe betrokke. Hy is toegeweid aan een profeties wetenskapelike hantering van die sociale probleme van ons dag. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, Stellenbosch University is honored to acknowledge Archbishop Tabu Sissel Makhoba for serving as a moral compass to society by espousing the values of human dignity, mutual respect, justice and enduring peace for his deep commitment 
to quality education for all and for being the voice of reason that helps society navigate turbulent times. I hereby request that you confer on him the degree Doctor of Theology Honoris Causa. I hereby confer on you, Tabu Cecil Mokhoba, the degree Doctor of Theology Honoris Causa. Vice Chancellor, thank you so much for, for, for the honor of bestowing me uh, this degree. So, Dames and Heere, thank you for e welcome. And I want to thank you, the representative of this historic and distinguished university, for conferring me this honor. Again, like Professor Dube, all protocol observed. But when I was a young person growing up in Johannesburg, people used to say of Stellenbosch that it was where the country's prime ministers were educated. Those days are gone for now. But if you are as successful as you aim to be with your transformation into a university fit for purpose in the 21st century South Africa, I'm sure those days can and will return that we will yet see a Mati as a president of a liberated democratic South Africa. I received this honorary degree on behalf of all the lay people in our respective churches, the people who are pillars who hoist us up to meet the challenges of today Many of them had the ability to benefit from a university education, but were denied the, that opportunity. In the past, that was often because of poor schooling or the color of their skins. Now it is often because of poor schooling or because they struggle to find the means to pay. Since the honorary degree you have generously chosen to bestow on me is in theology, let me say a few words today about the doctrine of the Incarnation, the doctrine that holds that Jesus is both fully God and fully human, that he is the divine son who was, as we say, made flesh, that he took on a human body and human nature. What does the Incarnation mean in South Africa today? To me, it means that God is part of the contemporary world so although the president and members of his covenant or the captains of business and industry or leaders of universities and churches may play important roles in our society, we should not be looking for God in the spaces they inhabit. No, we should be looking for God in other places, just as the wise men in the Christmas story found Jesus in the stable. We need to look for God among those the world regard as unimportant, those who are seemingly insignificant, those regarded as illegitimate, illiterate, defenseless, of no worth to the economy, and of no consequences to society. So as we celebrate all who graduate today, as you look back over the hard work and the support from your families and your sponsors, which you which got you here, let us dedicate ourselves to saving our society in a way that will enable those that are the least among us to live lives as full and rich as those we aspire ourselves. So congratulations to the graduates and those who have supported them 
And thank you to the Faculty of Theology for this wonderful honor. I thank you.